Hello and welcome to Chef Carter's Cooking Corner. So today on Chef Carter's Cooking Corner, I am going to be solving a mystery of a picture I posted earlier this week. So if you haven't guessed, the mystery ingredient, eggs. But I am going to try some cheese. So I got two eggs here. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of water and a nice dash of doo -doo -doo -doo. Lowry seasoned salt. All right, we're gonna mix that up. Then we're gonna take a little bit of cheese. Although the other one I didn't put cheese in, I just want to try it with cheese. All right, and then I have a skillet, a small skillet heating up. All right, let me take you to the skillet. All right, so here is my skillet, and it's nice and warm. So Tony and Nancy, y'all were curious about this, especially Tony, <laughs> what this stuff was. So first what I'm going to do is cook it in this small skillet on low. And so it's going to... Cook on one side, I'll flip it over, cook it on the other. Before I poured the eggs in, I did spray it with Pam. Alright, so this is the first part. I'll be right back. Alright, let me check this. You know, at this point, it's okay if it breaks a little bit because it'll basically fix itself. Don't want it to get too brown on one side. And that's okay. It's like it looks messy, but it's going to stick into a little um little I want to call it a puck, like a hockey puck. Leave it a couple more minutes. Make sure it's cooked in the middle because it'll run out while you're doing the next step if you don't. Alright, so I guess right now I can go ahead. I'm going to cut it into four pieces. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And then we're going to prep for the next step. So the next step, you can see I have a little bit of cornmeal and a little bit of flour. So I'm going to season that as well, but not so much because I really did season those eggs. And then I got a little flour in this bowl, and I'm going to put just a little bit of seasoning in that. That's that Lowry seasoning. All right. Okay, so in the bowl, I'm going to add some water. Kind of make a, a thin paste of the flour. Uh oh. Of the flour and the water. So it looks like I didn't put quite enough, or maybe I just added a little too much water. But okay, I think that will work. So then we want to mix our flour and cornmeal together as well. All right, so now comes the breading process. All right. Okay, so I'm trying to put the eggs in here without making too much of a mess. Here we 
go. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and... That sound you heard was my shoes. <laughs> A little air got caught in one of them. It made that little sound. <laughs> Alright. Be right back. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cover the eggs first with flour. Okay. I'm going to do it. This is just, you know, for family so we can use our hands. Okay, so we're going to coat it with the flour and uh, cornmeal mixture. going to put it in the flour water mixture back into our flour mixture We're going to make sure it's coated again with flour. And then we're going to put it back in the liquid and then back into the flour. I think this one needs to be dipped again. I missed a couple spots. Okay, not a problem. All right. Put that other container in. Oh, you hear that? My shoe. I promise you, that's my shoe. <laughs> okay, so we're going to flip this over in the flour. And so, it doesn't have to be perfect, as long as everything is covered. Okay, now we're going to take it over to the skillet. Let me take this over here to this corner because it's got more flour left. Alright, so let me take it to the skillet. Alright, so we have it here. There's some oil preheating. I'm going to go ahead and put my battered eggs in here. Not beaten, but battered. <laughs> so violent what we do to eggs. We beat them, we batter them, we whoop them, whip them. <laughs> Four little eggs. We crack them. All right, so we're going to let that sit there and cook. All right, so while those were cooking, I cleaned them just a little bit. I got to clean the stove off, so if you see any mess, please excuse it. Somebody cooked last night and didn't clean up after themselves. But that's okay. I mean, I cleaned it a little bit, but it really needs scrubbing, and I'll do that later this evening. Okay, this needs to cook a little longer. I think I'm going to flip it on high because it really is cooked in the middle. We just want to brown, you know, brown the flour and cornmeal mixture. Okay, getting my plate ready. See if it got a little browner. Right. Not yet. I want it a little browner than that. 
Maybe I'll go ahead and flip them to the other side. They don't look like chicken thighs. They look like chicken thighs to me when they're cooked like this. Cooked them a little too long on this side. Ooh, let me get them flipped quickly. Oh, no. Okay, they're still eatable. skillet turned off. Alright, so there they are. Don't they look delicious? Let me get a plate. I'm going to plate one up. Whew. It's kind of warm today. Alright, be right back. Alright, so there we go gonna be crispy you hear that how crispy that is it's all nice and crispy mm-hmm you hear that's so good Just don't overcook it like I did on this side. But it's still good. Anyway. I guess you can call this batter fried eggs. Alright. Take care everyone. And let me know if you try the recipe. And I'll see you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, share. Tell your friends about my channel. I definitely need more watch hours. Alright. Take care y'all. Bye.